koutou ngā tamariki o te motu, ko ngā rangi tō kuingua no tūhoi. Kei ko nei tātou, kei te whare kararehe o tāmaki makairau, ki te mātai, ki te hōpara, ki te tuhura hoki i ngā kararehe oroto. I te rangi nei ka mātai tātou i tētahi tūmomo tokorā te hanga, he tūpuhi hoki tō nakanohi. Hea hara, māwe matapai, kia titiro a ke tātou. Mā roto i ngā pāti tīroa o ngā whenua pāraharaha o Awherika ki te wāhi e maroke ai te papa o Savannah e ngā hihi o te rā, ki te ai ngā tapuai o te tāroa roa nei. Ka toro atu ana ki te ike i ke tanga o te rākau keiha, kei reira tā rātou tino kai o te māhunga ko ngā pakihiwi e paratū ana ki runga o era atu kararehe. I mau rā nei a koutou te tūmomo ka tirohi ai te rangi nei? Kā rawe, ko te kaki roa! Ko ia te kararehe tāroa roa rawa o ngā kararehe katoa o papatu ānuku. I te rangi nei ka tūtahi tātou ki ngā kararehe paratū nei. Ka ako hoki i ngā kaimahi i konei i te whare kararehe o tāmaki makaurau. Hoake! I mōhio rā nei koe ko te tāroa toharite o ngā kakiroa pakeke kei wāinga nui i te whā me te ono mita me toru rawa ngā ngārangi kia o rite ki tērā Aha koa te roa o te kaki, he ua ua ki a rātou te toro atu ki te papa inu ai, me wehe wehe rawa ngā waiwai kia pai ai tā rātou piko. Ko te ingoa mo tētai kāhui kaki roa, ko te pourewa. So whānau, we are in the African habitat and I'm joined by our zoo educators who are going to teach us all about this very tall and impressive animal. Kia ora, ko Sterling tōku ingoa nō here taonga ahau. Kia ora, ko Hoheva tōku ingoa nō te tairāwhiti ahau. He kā ko māua ko Sterling mō te whare kararehe o Tāmaki Makairau. I'd like to introduce you to our four beautiful giraffes, Trakia, Karaka and her daughter Kabili, and then we have Billy who is two years old. Giraffes come all the way from Africa. They live in the open forest, the savannah and the African plains. Now there are four different species of giraffe but there are nine subspecies. Each of them has a unique pattern on their coat. They are just as unique as our fingerprints. So that makes them very special. Definitely. But also, giraffes are the tallest mammals in the world. Even newborn giraffes are taller than most humans, and females give birth standing up. What makes the giraffes so perfectly designed to their habitat? Well, as you can see, they have their long necks which have evolved to reach up high into the trees. They also have long tongues which are capable of wrapping and grabbing their food. So, are there any activities you can do with these guys? Yes, of course. Let's go and see what it takes to feed these giants. Me haere tato. I mōhio rāne koutou ka roa kē atu te kore inu wai a te kakiroa i te kāmera? Āpiti atu ki tērā, ka tāia ngā kākiroa o te puihi ki te kai, tata ki te toru te kai mā whā kiro kramu i te rā. He rite tērā ki te whā te kai mā rua ngā inu korikori. Wow! Ko o kapi anake te whanaunga o te kākiroa e ora tonu ana. So Ngārangi, I'd like to introduce you to our ungulate expert, Gemma. Kia ora Gemma, lovely to meet you. So, could you please tell us what an ungulate expert is? Yeah, so ungulate just means a hoof mammal, so here at Auckland Zoo we look after all the hoof mammals. And Gemma, can you please tell us why we feed the giraffes so high up? So in the wild, giraffes generally, because of their height, they um, feed quite high up in the trees. So we're just trying to replicate that here at the zoo. Um, so we've got lots of different pulley systems so we can put the trees at different heights. And what is involved with their food preparation for the day, Gemma? So giraffe spend a lot of time eating. So um, we've fed them dry food this morning. Um, we've fed them the trails out in the paddock. Um, we've given them some lucerne nets and some boomer balls, all to help them feed longer through the day. They have so much kai. He ma hoki te teko? <laughs> See, funny you should ask that. <laughs> Why is it so small if they're so big? We have different stomachs to giraffes. We only have one stomach and they have four parts to their stomach, which is why their poos come out a lot smaller. Oh, you missed the spot. Oh, oh where? 
Okay, I think he got it all now, Narangi. Let's wrap it up, eh? Okay. Put it in there, team. Wow, Fano! I hope you enjoyed learning about the tallest mammal on Earth and hanging out with us here at Auckland Zoo. That's lovely, Ngārangi, but your mahi isn't finished yet. You missed the spot. Hey. Ah, uh, just kidding. Our keepers have already got it. They're too good. Kaki te korua, ah. Kaki te tamariki ma.